Hi. So something that I'm working on is trying to show up more uh, when it comes to social media. Um, those who know me know that I really hate being the person in front of the camera and I hate speaking in front of people even more. Um, but anyway, uh, so I figured out if, if I'm gonna be more present, the only way to do it is to be completely authentic and let, um, let y'all embrace me in all of the awkwardness. So I was inspired this morning. I don't know if all of you saw the story with all the hummingbirds um, on my porch, but I was inspired this morning by them. Um, it reminded me of a concept that I knew and it was just a, a really nice example of how the universe shows up for you. <laughs> um, so before we moved, we've been in this house about a year now. And before we moved, we lived in a condo. Um, and I had this little balcony um, off the master bedroom, tiny little balcony, but I loved it. I would um, was on the second floor uh, and I would sit out there um, and do my morning writing. I do morning writing every day. Um, and I call the inspiration I get from my morning writing, I call them little daily downloads, uh, which is a whole nother topic we can get into. But I used to do my morning writing on that little balcony. And I had two hummingbird feeders out there. And it was one of my favorite things because, I don't know, maybe the most hummingbirds, you know, the biggest number of hummingbirds I had was probably four or five at a time. Um, but they would go to the oak tree next to the balcony and, and then come to the feeder and buzz around my head. And I just loved that. And I, there were a lot of things about the condo that, that I liked and, but what it was missing, it was missing the yard. And obviously, I mean, you can see my yard now and I couldn't have chickens. And now I have all of these lovelies who think I have food right now, but I don't. Um, but anyway, the move to the, to the house was really more about the yard space for me because the condo was just a condo. We had no yard. I just have my little balcony, um, which I loved. Ooh, the roosters are, roosters are going at it. See, this is what happens. Authenticity, right? Here, don't, don't get me. Ah! Jeez. They aren't even. Ah! Shit. <laughs> Those are not my roosters. <laughs> Oh my god. Who's gonna ask? Impromptu cockfight. Ah! They look like dinosaurs, don't they? Can you see them? Oh god, you can't even see them. Can you see them now? Oh, oh my gosh. Ah. Anyway, this is what happens. I'm losing my train of thought cockfight going on in front of me. <laughs> I can hear that in the background. Um, so the balcony at the condo, uh, it was one of those things I knew I was really going to miss because I loved the hummingbirds so much. Um, and it was just, it was my little space, right? Um, and when we found the new house, obviously, it, I mean, it doesn't have a balcony, um, but it does have a little back porch, which is nice. I mean, it's a big back porch. Uh, anyway, um, so we put up hummingbird feeders this year. We, we had two out and we had seen a few coming around, uh, which was nice. It was lovely. Um, but then my husband had a wild idea to go ahead and just, they're supposed to be migrating right now. So he's like, well, let's just put up a bunch and see what happens. And he put up six. We have six hummingbird feeders out right now. And the hummingbirds just started coming in droves. like. This morning, if you if you saw the video, you didn't even see them all because there were at least 20 um, hummingbirds. And I was sitting there on my porch in my egg chair and I was just in awe at, at how many hummingbirds were surrounding me and how I was, <coughs> I was in the condo, a little sad, a little, a little miffed that I wasn't gonna have my little balcony anymore, right? Like I was excited about the new house and everything for it. But 
that balcony in the condo was something I just loved and I was really I showed gratitude for it every day. Every day I was sitting out there, I thought, gosh, I like this space. Gosh, I'm so thankful for the hummingbirds. And and my whole point of this story is the things that you are thankful for, the things that you show gratitude for every day, um, the universe will provide to you tenfold uh, if you don't live in a lack mentality. So, lack mentality meaning if there's something you really want and you focus on wanting it, you focus on not having it, that puts you in a lack mentality. Um, but where if you're showing gratitude for something, I was showing gratitude for something I had. I had hummingbirds and the hummingbird feeder and my space, so gratitude for that. Um, not showing lack for it. And then when I found this house and knew I had to let go of it, um, instead of being sad, you know, we tried to replicate it. We put, we put up some feeders and we're like, let's, let's see what happens. And the universe showed up for me big time. Um, and just kind of tells you to trust, right? Trust in the process, be grateful for what you have and it'll grow tenfold. So that was my, that was today's installation of the daily download. <laughs> Cheers.